Okay, guys, so I am back with an unboxing, and happy Wednesday. So, yes, if y'all know, today it is February 1st at 5.10 in the morning, which I normally wake up at 5.30, but I just woke up at 4.57. So, yes, uh, this is actually my third Chase figure and my first Johnny Gargano figure. Guys, if y'all know, I have looked everywhere for a Johnny Gargano, and now I finally got him. I got Johnny Wrestling himself. Uh, plus, like I said, this is a Chase variant. And, uh, yeah. So, can we unbox him? Uh, I want to say his attire is just like Shawn Michaels because of the red and white. Or Scotty Too Hotty because... You know, Sky Too Hotty had the exact same colors, except for the purple, because, uh, well, why not? So, yes, uh, anyway, guys, like I said, happy Wednesday, and here is the back, and he is a technician. His signature moves is One More Beat and Gargano Escape. In the series, you get AJ Styles, John Sam, which we just unboxed him, like, seven months ago. Grand Metalik and Almas. So y'all want to know how where I got Johnny Gargano? I actually picked him up for Walmart yesterday, and I thought I will be like do something fun for this morning. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get him out of the box, shall we? Also, forget I forgot to mention in the this video. Um, we are going to do AJ Styles, because I also picked up AJ Styles, because I thought he would be pretty cool. And I want to say this is my fourth AJ Styles figure. Alright, guys, so here he is out of the package. Check this out. Now, I am really... This is actually great. They did the paint job really detailed it. Like, he has, like, the Shawn Michaels look, because you can tell that's, like, the Shawn Michaels from 1988 when he was like Mr. WrestleMania himself the purple wristbands the red trunks uh, like I said guys this is actually the Chase variant and my third Chase Asher figure I have Rom the Roman Reigns Chase variant from basic series 128 and Edge from 113 yeah this is really cool um yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so we got the Phenomenal one here. Now, if some of y'all want to know why I got this figure, because, look at it. The Japanese uh, symbol. Because if y'all know, I like studying Japanese, like, people's names, anime, and... Wrestle in New Pro Japan Wrestling, which I am not actually a wrestler. I'm just like, like some guy who unbox stuff and like tell people my thoughts about everything. So yes, this one right here, which everybody knows that uh, that's his uh, finishing moves. Which right now he is out of injury, so yeah, and he's a technician. So, in the series, you get John Cena, which, like I said in the Johnny Gargano video, which we will get to in a minute. We unboxed John Cena seven months ago. There's Graham Metalik, which I'm actually surprised that he's in AEW, I think, because I see him in uh, AEW live event. Johnny Gargano and Omos. Which, they actually had Almas yesterday, but I was like, you know, I could buy Almas on Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon, but Amazon is like almost like $100 for nearly an almost year old toy. Now, ain't that crazy? But by the way, guys, this is actually my fourth AJ Styles figure, so let's go ahead and get him out of the package, shall we? Alright, guys, so here he is out of the package. There's his famous tattoo and his little birth mug irks of his children. His four children. Yeah, this is really decent. Like the hair. Ah, man. The lights turn off on me. Yeah, really decent for a little toy for a kid. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so... 
going to do this unboxing in this video. This one and this in the next video. And this one in the next video. But uh yes guys, um so I am going to do a Ruby pillow plush next month if I do three unboxings next month. Guys, if y'all know, uh, I am going to get WWE 2K22 on the, I mean, not 2K22, like 2K23 on the Xbox Series X and Xbox One. Like, together, you know, like how I got Resident Evil Village, you know that? On uh, the Deluxe Edition, I'm not getting the Standard Edition, I'm getting the Deluxe Edition. But, uh, yeah, I bought this from Kryptonite Warehouse, Kryptonite Character Store. Um, I actually bought this, like, two days ago, and I thought it was, uh, like, d being delivered for the mall, but let's go ahead and, and open this up. I think it's, like, the one that I never got a chance to unbox yet. <laughs> Look at that. He's doing the sexy post or um or the breakfast club pose because I don't want to like yeah there it is right there the sexy Deadpool funny plush I thought they, they call it puny like like you know like puny like p-u-n-n-y but no it spells funny like you know funny spells with f-u-n-n-y but uh no Funny, this one, how Kid Robot spells it, it's like P-H-U-N-N-Y. So, here he is in the bag, and let's go ahead and get this all in the bag. Okay, um, gotta take the hanger off. I mean, literally, no joke, it literally says it on the bag, right here. Deadpool, sexy Deadpool pu funny plush, or I'm just going to call it the Breakfast Club pu pose. Uh, you probably may have seen this on the promotion for the Deadpool, the first Deadpool movie, which is really funny. So here's the tag, has a little Deadpool symbol on it, and then um. Yeah, that's all. Now, here's the plushie. I guess I'll put it right here. Now, look at this. I am going to use it as a plush kit if I feel like it anytime soon. Because uh, I think this is like my fifth Deadpool plushie. I think. I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so I'm going to do this one. And yes, I told you guys I am doing a Happy Mail toy unboxing. Not the new Mickey Mouse stuff, because uh, I really don't like what they did with them. Oh, it's just paper stuff. Like, they did it, like, last year, and the year before last year, in 2021. They have, like, these little suitable toys that looks like the characters from the movie Sing 2. <sighs> did not get my unboxing knife with me, because... This seller who sent deliver me these today, which I thought they wanted to be here by Friday. Okay, good. 2015, 2021. So, this is what I'll do, okay? In the next video, like, probably like. Maybe, like, later on, I might probably do this one, which is Toy 21, which is the Team Suit Ant-Man. I lost this one somehow, in some way. This one, I'm going to unwrap, uh, Team Suit Captain America. Also lost this one, too. So, let's do Captain America in this one. Okay, so here he is. Um, yep, y'all can tell this is actually the same head from... Yes, it's actually from the in-game sets, which I did review this years ago. 
until somehow in some way I lost it. Yeah, so here he is, the gold base and the little fabric uh, suit. This is the yeah, the, it's on, but you can't see in the in the sunlight. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys, so we are unwrapping toy number twenty one. Team Suit Ammon. Now, yes, like I said, I lost this one and this one. And this one I also lost too because I had to replace these. Like, some of these toys I owned, I had to replace them like almost four times. Which is just, yeah. Like, I had these in the closet, like these two in the closet. The other one that's going to be a mystery, I don't even know where they're at. But if I do find these two again, like, whatever. I probably might get the old ones away to my friend, Ryan. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get Ant-Man out of the bag. Okay, so, here is the little baggie. Oh, yes, by the way, guys, these toys came out in 2019. Three days before Endgame was released in theaters that year. So, uh, yeah, guys... I'll put that in my bag. Here is the toy itself. Yep, same gimmick. Like Captain America. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so one more unwrapping. So here we go. Yeah, they, they, they this, I also bought this one from the same seller, too, under my name. And guys, I got these from eBay, too. Okay, here is this one, which I also lost. Toy number 11, Rocket Raccoon. Now, yes, like I said, lost these two. If I found these two, it was somewhere in my house. I'm going to probably get the old old ones away. And if I also find Rocket too, I will also give the old Rocket away also. But, uh... Yeah. So, again, these are not unboxings because they're in a bag. Because if y'all remember, like I said last time, y'all complained about, like, unwrapping. When I unwrapped these, you said they were not unboxing because they're not in a box. So, here's Toy 11 out of this bag. And here is Rocket Raccoon. Here he is in his team flight suit. Uh, yes, it's like the other gimmick. You can barely see in the light. But, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, uh, Brett Messi here. I'm back with another video. And, happy Saturday. So, yes, uh, the past, this week, like, for the past few days, I want to say, like, oh gosh, like, four days. Four days ago, I start unboxing again because uh wow why not and yes um i haven't done an unboxing since like three days ago well i did do a video on that little pikachu thing that i got the other day that i reviewed yesterday morning so i want to show you guys this what i got yesterday and yes i actually got this from walmart but i didn't want to show you guys yesterday because i didn't want to ruin the surprise but here it is And that is the Liberty Chica Walmart Exclusive Plush. Picked it up, picked this up from Walmart. Uh, yeah, I know her like little hat thing is kind of worn out because uh, that's how they made it. But uh, yeah, and yes, uh, fun fact about this one. Oh, I did not mean to drop that. It's actually a Walmart exclusive. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the tag off, shall we? I also forgot to mention to you guys 
This one actually is filled up with beads. And this is actually my fourth one. Uh, yes, the other one I did unbox was Roxanne Wolf. Well, I kind of did refute her, too. I'm also reviewing this one, also, because, uh, like I said, I bought this from Walmart yesterday. I feel like, like I don't want to ruin the surprise for y'all yesterday, so why not show this one today? But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, uh, basically, we got a few things that I am doing. I got, like, three more, unbo two more unboxings to do. One review that I'm doing right now, and that is... A new character, um, y'all never heard me mention this game before until now, cause, uh, and yes, I actually saw this in Target, like, two weeks ago, and look what they got, and this is a new character who I really wanted to get, and that is, Huggy Wuggy, from Poppy Playtime, and this is Series 1, and, uh, this one's a smiling Huggy Wuggy. And, uh, yes, there's also a scary one, too. But, look at the eyes. They are hard. Like, the same way, like, Jax did with the song The Hedgehog 2. Plushy, that's a Target exclusive. And, yes, this is actually from Target. You can only buy these at Target. Well, you can also buy the action figures, too, at Walmart if you want to. But, uh, yeah. And let me take the tag off. And then we'll end the video right there. So yeah, guys, here he is without the tag on. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another unboxing video. And yes, I'm doing this in my house because I cannot film my car because my car is not here right now. So yes, we got a new character I am want to do an unboxing of. And that is the McFarlane Toys Superpower Wars Wait For... The Batman Who Laughs. Picked this up from Walmart. Uh, you can get six of them, which he is toy number six. Uh, he doesn't have any gimmicks or nothing, but uh, yes, you can get Superman, Darkseid, Batman, uh, John Stewart, the original Green Lantern, or the newer one, I don't know, The Flash, and The Batman Who Laughs. And uh, yes, you. I saw these two in a different Walmart, not this Walmart. That's where I got this one at, this one where I'm at right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, box it, shall we? Okay, guys, so here he is out of the bag. Um, ow. Okay, why did I even say ow? You know, it's just a toy. It's not going to hurt me. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven points of articulation. Uh, yeah, really decent figure. Um, so yeah, the original ones, if you're from the 80s or 90s, which I'm from the 2000s because I was born in 2002, they were like this little gimmick where he can raise his hand up, where he, he throws a punch at you. And no, he does not come with any accessories, which he did. <laughs> Look at that cape or jacket thing he has. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so another unboxing. Oh, did I just left my unboxing knife in the living room? Hold on. Okay, guys, so I got this another thing from eBay. Bought it like three days ago. But, uh, yep, uh... So, yes, I can, and I forgot to tell you guys, I did add in my name, like the Super Shocker part, all of it, so they know they won't deliver it to me with that name, except for my real name, which I didn't put my middle name on there, so, yeah. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag, shall we? Okay, guys, so, that's what I got from eBay. It's a little toy factory. Rainbow Dash plushie. Now, I told my friend about it because uh, she used to watch My Little Pony also. But, uh, yeah, um, just to let you guys know, like, not trying to be weird or nothing, like, I am going to have to sew that up after the video and do an Aftermath video. 
But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and take the tag off. If I can get it off. But, I'm gonna show you guys the tag before I end the video. So here's the tag. Picture of Rainbow Dash there. Toy Factory and uh, another picture of Rainbow Dash. But anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, so before I told you guys why I have this little bag, because uh, if y'all know, I just realized while I did not look at the thing, uh, it has eight pieces. Um, but you probably saw this on the short video I made, like, just a couple minutes ago, and, uh, yeah, pretty, I'm excited to unbox this, but, uh, anyway, guys, um, and yes, it's, like, the first, um, Unrival Collection figure I just bought, uh, like I said, this is a GameStop exclusive, uh, and it's a limited edition, so, I know y'all are gonna say, why are you gonna unbox this, it's a collector's item, I told him, I told my brother Saint. My brother told me the exact same thing, and I told him, "Well, I gotta open it, but I'm gonna have to have a little baggie for the items if the little pegs does come off." So yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and show you guys the accessories he has and uh, the figure itself. So here we go. Also, check out the background. That's pretty cool. It's like the, it looks like the actual background from Street Fighter, from the video games, you know. I don't know I am closing this right. Okay, I guess that's work. that works. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, I will have to put the plastic back in under the packaging, so let's go ahead and look at the accessories, so first accessories, uh, he has these little, I won't say like grip hands that holds the item, like if you're holding a, like a title or something, maybe a repin, or like I'm gonna call them Lego hands from the Lego minifigures. And yes, by the way, guys, I am doing a comparison video on Monday, which I'm going to film that video that day till my mom and brother leaves to go to the doctors. And, uh, well, I'll probably, probably the next day. And this one, he has, and the second accessories he has is these little Kamehameha Dryball C reference with the, um... Kinda looks like the Dragon Ball C hands. Let, let me know that I got his blow. Do they not look like them? And the famous taunt he has. The little figure pointing. Like the point like a like a nerf gun. And the like little thing you're holding like a basketball with. And then the last accessory is the headpiece. Which looks like he's smiling. I don't know. That kind of looks like they had the they did the exact same thing with the WWE figures for Mattel. Now let's get to the figure. All right, guys. So here's the figure itself. Uh, he does have that weird ab crunch because you don't want to break that. So here's the head. And let's take this head off and see what he looks like with this head on. Okay, uh, here's the eight accessories him screaming like he's going cray cray. And here's the hands. Wow. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, he got he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he doesn't rotate the race. Nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 points of articulation. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's remove the other fist hand and see what he will look like with this one. Okay, so, okay, yeah, hold on. I just looked at the picture just now. So here's the figure itself. Uh, yes, what's really weird heard about this, they also have a, you know that little Darby Allen figure? I mean, not figure, because, like, the little Darby Allen, um, wrestling buddy thing I did unboxing of way back in two years ago in December of 2021. Okay, we got more articulation. 19, well, a little bit of 19, and 20 points of articulation, okay. Uh, fun, fa fun fact, guys. Did you guys know he came out out cosplaying as the Sword Art Online main protagonist, Kirito? Yeah, like this figure. Um, didn't find the other two, which this Kenny Omega one looked pretty interesting, so... Yeah, I want to name this title of this video, uh, Jazz, Jazz Wears AEW Crossover Street Fighter Limited Edition GameStop Exclusive Kenny Omega figure. And he is number three. But, um, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe.